Doesn't look like there is. Alright. We still have... Romer Encampment and Rose's room to go check out. So why don't we check out one of those right now? And see if we can do them. We'll worry about this Jessica quest later. I don't know what Aliahan is. Check me a second. I have to text someone really quick. Sesame? Oh my word, what's happening here? So Rose is apparently from Dragon Quest 4. I do not know a Rose. That's a Rose Guardian, though. Ah, Sir Rose Guardian, please stop it. Yeah, they, they don't fit enough characters. They call this thing a Rose Garden. It's supposed to be a Rose Guardian. They probably ran out of characters doing this 2D mode. Which, that would remind me, I think Jessica's mother might be Rosalind, duh, but they don't fit the A. Help us, please! Must destroy Clank, must destroy everything! Oh, okay. This is sudden. Extremely sudden. Alright, well, if I know anything from Dragon Quest, Rose Guardians are normally weaker to magic, as according, according to physical attacks. Yeah, 38 damage. You're definitely meant to use magical attacks on Rose Guardians. That's just how they work. Ba -ba -ba -bum, which means Thunder Thrust with Jade 24-7. Punch Slash might count as a magical attack. I'm in the Mountain Mover with Eric. Oh, nice, get that crit. Yeah, Quadra Slash counts as a magic attack. Oh, Serena died? That's not ideal. That's one. Eric, you're, you're not really helping, honestly. Should have healed with Serena, that's on me. She's the one with Kazing, too. So we're gonna have to rely a bit on RNG to get her up. Yeah, nothing happens. Look at one of these stupid Chilonodons. Oh, Rose Guardian's dead. Good. Okay. This got dicey for a minute. I know Rose Guardians are normally... Oh, dang it. Serena missed XP. That was a lot, too, but I'm not going to reset. It's not that important. Rose Guardians are normally, like, very, very tough. They, they do crazy damage, and they are weak to magic. Trust me, I should know. Thanks for rescuing me. You're a good person. You mustn't blame Sir Rose Guardian for attacking us, though. He's not some horrible monster, he's been Rose's staunchest defender since time immemorial. Time immemorial. I, know, I have trouble pronouncing that word when it's in a sentence. I don't know what happened to him, but he just changed completely all of a sudden. He started to attack us like he was possessed or something, it was so surprising. The next time we knew, he'd smash up Rose's beloved flute of rev revelation. Now it's completely useless. It's where boyfriend Sorrow uses to get into his room. Sorrow? I didn't know Sorrow had a girlfriend. 
Without it, they won't be able to see each other. It's a tragedy, don't you think? Rose and Sorrow are great together. That's why I decided to make a new flute revelation and give it to Rose as a present. I don't suppose you'd be able to help, would you? A Tempest Shield, that sounds awesome. Really? That's great. Now, what I need you to do is bring me wood I'll be using. My grandmother once told me you can't use just any old wood to make something like the fruit flute of Re Revelation. I almost said fruit. You need some timber from a special tree indeed. It's called the Revella tree. It grows... It grows in the forest where the fairies live. Could you go and fetch some for me? Once you brought it to me, I'll be able to make some in no time. Don't worry about Rose and the Sir Guardian. I'm gonna stick to them... Like, do and make sure nothing else bad happens. There was no substitute for that word. Go to the forest where the fairies live. Is there a Tickenton place that describes that? It's not the observatory, not the Great Tree. I should probably look. What are the Tickenton areas I don't have? Pillar of Pegasus. There's Romer Encampment 2. I don't know why there's two Romer Encampments. I find that really dumb, but whatever. Yeah, um, I don't recognize any of these fairies. Fairy areas. Do I have one already? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, that's fine. We got the quest accepted, we'll do it whenever. We should probably go check Romer Encampment then. See if we can do that one. Or just at least accept the quest and maybe something will come up. What was this, Rose's room? Yeah, we, we accepted that already. We accepted the Romer Encampment, okay. Let's just go take a look at Romer Encampment really quick. What's this? Yeah, yeah, Romer Encampment. This just means there's a quest, I think. Is what that means. Yeah, 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 okay. Rose's room needs to be done, and then Romer Encampment we haven't accepted. But let's go accept it and see if we could accept it. Dragon Quest 7? Yeah, I never played Dragon Quest 7. I have no idea what this place is. I wouldn't know. Greetings, my name is Ron Barrow. I'm the leader of the Romer clan. On behalf of all my people, I bid you welcome. In normal run of things, we would eat, drink, and make merry to celebrate the appearance of guests in our midst. However, I'm sorry to say that you have chosen an inopportune moment to appear. The sad truth is that young Lala, who dances for us all for us at all our rites and festivities, was attacked by monsters, has been struck down by a terrible and mysterious milady. Milady? Milady? We've done all we can to try and cure her herbal remedies, prayers, ritual dances, but nothing has worked. She continues to suffer terribly. As a last resort, Lala's husband, Kiefer, has set out has set off in search of a rare gem that's said to have the power to cure all ailments. However, he has not yet returned. We were expecting him to be home by now, I confess to being a little concerned. The lad's a brave warrior who can hold his own against any foe. But could some... But could some misfortune perhaps have befallen him? Please understand I do not make a habit of asking strangers for assistance, but it seems to me that much providence has brought you to us. I ask you humbly to help us in our hour of need. Will you search for Kiefer, aid him in his quest to find their precious healing gem? Yo, just show me Maribel and Ruff. They're from Dragon Quest Seven, aren't they? Marvelous. Thank you, kind stranger. Thank you. Now, Kiefer said he was heading to the mine where these precious gems are ready to be found. Oh, is this the rainbow mine? They're gonna make me go back there? Rainbow- Yep. Yep. Rainbow rocks. As that melodious name might suggest, they come in a range of colors. Kiefer was very specific about the hue he wanted. Green. All we can do now is pray you succeed. On behalf of my people, I beseech you, find Kiefer, get that green gem, save Lala's life. Okay, so the game is going to make us go back to, uh, come on, Kiefer. The game is going to make us- Oh my goodness, uh, Serena's dead. Fix this. I forgot they follow you as a corpse, it's so funny. Alright, well, we, we can do a quick detour to the Rainbow Mines. And see if we can get this quest done. This quest seems doable, so we might as well do it now. Also, can I look at my best gear in this, uh, mode? Because I was told there's separate best gears for... Modes? I guess not, that's fine. 
That's fine. Take me to the rainbow mine. We could probably get this quest done. I hope the enemies get stronger. If not, I'm going to be using holy protection. I have no idea where this uh, hue of green is going to be, but we are going to look around and hopefully it won't get too annoying. These enemies don't look any stronger. <laughs> I guess we'll find out now, won't we? Yeah, these enemies definitely haven't improved. Which means we're going to be using Holy Protection. Hopefully it comes in clutch because I am not in the mood to deal with the encounter rate. Shoot them, you might know something. Oh, he said something about looking for a green gem, but it's been a fair while now. I can't help worrying that something untoward has happened. Okay, yeah. I, I wasn't sure if you were going to say anything about the uh, green gem or not. This is definitely- oh, there's red. Oh, yo. Yo, this reminds me of a Lufia 2 puzzle. The Lufia 2 puzzle where you had to like play Tetris with the little, with the little blocks? That's cool. Basically Candy Crush? I like that puzzle. Puzzles in my Dragon Quest game? Hmm, okay. Things are getting a little complicated now. Can I not push this? Yeah, okay, I wasn't lined up with it. This is super cool. Okay, yeah, push this. You don't have to, it's not like Lufia 2 where you have to, uh, actually no, let me reset this. You don't have to get every single one, you just need to make a path forward. This one's stuck in here. Just do this. What if I just kind of experimenting here? I need to I need that red one. I need that red one to get the one blocking my path. Ooh, I know. What if I alright, this is actually really easy. I'm overthinking this. This is not like Lufia 2 where you have to get every single color disappeared. You just need to get the ones that block your path. So, this is actually insanely easy. Oh, but no, that one. Okay, never mind. It's not as easy as it looks. That is my goal, though. If I can move that red one a little bit, I might be able to do this. Okay. I hate the way 2D mode makes this a little weird to move in, though. It's a neat puzzle, though. Will this work like this? Yes, it will. Okay. Oh, my battery's low. As I said, hopefully going for three hours is plausible. My battery life might make it? Ooh. Okay. This is... This is Lufia 2 tier puzzle right here. Find a way to get that red one.
And I can get the yellow, and then I'd be able to get the blue out. Good thing Holy Protection's working wonders here. Okay. That one over there. The end goal is I have to get the blues to the center, obviously, because that's what's blocking. Or, well, no, I need the blue. Because I was going to say the yellow won't work because the blue is in the middle. So the, the end goal is I need to get the blue in the middle because that's the one that's blocking my path. Interesting. I just want to kind of like look around here. I'm not expecting to get it right now. Let's see here. Blue to the center. Putting this here is like a guarantee. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do this. Then this. Then I can break the blue. Okay. This is a really neat puzzle. I like this. Very Lufia too. Oh. Help, oh, can you hear me? Oh, I didn't even need that one. I'm in a bit of trouble here. I need help getting out. That must be Kiefer. He's probably a Dragon Quest 7 character, not a character I recognize though. He's not Maribel or Ruff, which means I do not know him. What's the point of these? Do I just not do those? Interesting. We're like, hey, Dragon Quest XI doesn't have puzzles. We're gonna smack all the puzzles in 2D mode. Not even all of them, but like, this one's a puzzle. A sudden puzzle. Which is wild for... I almost said Lufia. Wild for Dragon Quest XI. The Pearly Gates look sick, even in 2D mode. Everything looks sick, even in 2D mode. To be honest. Bye. Okay. What's up, Kiefer? This is, uh... Interesting. Now free the gold ones. that red one this is like this is i thought that was lufia 2 puzzle this is break this then we can free the gray ones i think the problem is i'm focused on like trying to get all of them but you don't need to get all of them you just need to get the ones that are in your way that's why i'm overthinking this not that it's easy it's still not easy it still requires a bit of strategizing
What now? What now? Probably just make the blue. I want to push this blue there, but I'm just not sure. 